same tired as you are of people trying to define us. There are hateful people, some of which are here today. There are hateful people, some of which are here today, that will attempt to promote their bigoted and hateful views. I'm Saad Mohammed. I'm the chairman for Care Oklahoma. Donnie? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm you. He referred to some of our drinks and state bigots outside. Well, what do you think about that? Well, the reason why he made that statement is because we have experienced hatred towards Muslims, towards Islam. We are doctors, we are lawyers, we are neighbors, we are milkmen. We are everyday people of society. Um, we do not have any evil intentions. We don't have any you know, evil plans in mind. Um, when you preach and you promote the Quran yes. and Muhammad. Yes, I do. And I, yes. And when you do that, uh -huh. people uh, react in a negative tone. Uh -huh. uh, as the other fellow said, he referred to them as hateful beggars. And you agree with that? I agree according to their reaction. If you're aggressive, I would go to peaceful terms first. So peace comes first. So as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, yes. if we do the same, yeah. and we're met with hateful bigotry, mm -hmm. that is also wrong. No, if you confront a Muslim, yes. and that Muslim reacts to you in a strong, hateful, aggressive way, yes. Yes. then you should do what your scripture teaches you. Turn the other cheek, turn and walk away. That's what we But I'm just asking you, they would be hateful and bigoted also. If, if our reaction, if you're calling our reaction hateful and bigoted, then also, if we're preaching what we believe, if we're met with that, then then those people on the other side would be hateful and bigoted. Would that, what, would that be true? What Adam meant by hateful and bigotry is you Muslims are going to hell, but that is hateful and bigotry. But if we just disagree, that is not hateful and bigotry. In the uh, course of preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus, what if you were met with rocks and bottles being hurled, uh -huh. and, 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 and in fact, a uh, uh, physical uh, injury? But whoever the aggressor is, is wrong. I don't care if he's Muslim, Christian, Jew, or atheist. If we have a dialogue and I lash out at you, I'm wrong. And the reason I ask is that's pretty common, the, the things that we encounter when we go and preach uh, on the street in different places. And there are Muslims. That's, that's a, a pretty common uh, reaction. So they react aggressively and violently. Yes. 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 But they're wrong. It, it's wrong. If, if I, if you so you believe that is also hateful and bigoted? If they react towards that, because the act of violence, the act of aggression, the act of bigotry, the act of violence and aggression towards the question of faith is an act of aggression, is wrong. What I'm trying to say, we need to sit down, talk, dialogue, and come to a common ground. And you will see, as my imam always tells me, we have more in common than we have differences. I think I would disagree with that. Okay, that, yeah, and that's I, think, I think that would be and that, and that, that is, it is, it is right. fine to disagree, right. but right. it is always good to try to focus on similarities rather than differences. Right. And there are, I think there are plenty of similarities that we can focus on and gain rather than you know, focus on differences and, and just, you know, um, get to hurtful situations. Then. There are hateful people, some of which are here today, that will attempt to promote they are bigoted and hateful views. I just wanted to get your view on that to make sure we were looking at both sides of science. Humanity comes first. My faith teaches it's, it's, you know, you're human first, you're, you know, it doesn't matter what our differences are. My experience with the Muslim community has been this, standing outside at a time of prayer when you would think the men would be the holiest. His words were, if you were in my country, I would slit your throat. Never mind my country. If it wasn't for the police officer, I would let your blood run out on the streets where you stand. Mm -hmm. That's not real peaceful. And so, it therefore, I'm seeing a different side today than I saw there. Are you telling me that, the, that your belief in Oklahoma is different than the belief in Washington, D.C.? No, it's the exact same belief. It's the exact belief. Was, he, exact just more, was he just more factual? Just, no, that no. was went through. That was his response to being there. So there, there, are, the there are bigots at the at you, prayer time? There are, and there you, are extremists. You two would be liberals. We, we would be Muslims. Is there an extremist Muslim? No, there's no such thing. I got a question for you. Yes, what was your experience with Muslims today? I'm sorry. What was your experience with Muslims today? First ex interaction, today. actual first interaction, was when I was standing on the next floor and I heard Adam call me a bigot and he doesn't even know me. 
a hateful, he said that. A hateful he bigot. Said that. He said, listen, I don't know you, but I'm a nice guy. But we would disagree diametrically on our faith. You didn't hear me calling you brothers. Uh, I repel, I go out there and, and engage them and shake hand with them. Um, I'm the religious authority. Maybe Adam is not the religious authority, but I told them we're brothers and go out there and engage them. That's a good statement with the exception that you Muslim to go to hell. Who is the love one? Allah. Who is Ar Rahman? Allah. Our women, they cover their modesty. They dress modest, they cover their beauty. I guess they forgot to tell her they stone women and dress like that in the Middle East. Who is the love one? Allah. Who is Ar Rahman? Allah. Who is Al Manan? Muhammad is the messenger, Allah is our return.